What is going on guys and today I am here with another NBA 2K16 My League Challenge and in this one it's going to be the worst team challenge and we're going to have to rebuild them in three years. So you can see I'm on the Raptors right here. The team is looking pretty good and now look at it. Alright so this is the team now and 2K is doing something weird like I wanted to release everybody but for some reason it won't let me do so because like if I go to free agents and I want to sign uh, someone. It's saying I can't afford them. All right, guys. So this is the final roster. It's, yeah, our highest overall is a 68. So I'm going to have to rebuild this team in three years. See if we can win a title. I want to simulate like a week just to see where DeMar DeRozan and like Kyle Lowry signed and all of them. Because I think it'll be interesting to see. So uh, we simulated about a week. We're one in four. So honestly, I'll take that. If I go to free agents. All right. Most of them got signed. Corey Joseph didn't get signed. But most of them got signed. So we'll see where they ended up. So... This Jonas Valanciunas went to the Suns, the Magic cut DeMar DeRozan, and Kyle Lowry went to the Celtics, so that's going to be for me now, I'll see you guys at the end of the regular season. Alright guys, end of the season, and you can expect what we did, we went 9-73, yeah, you could tell we were pretty bad, and so there's no, actually I'll show you guys the stats, because this is going to be kind of interesting, so Steve Novak led the team in points with 16.5, didn't have a he had a pretty good year for someone that did he play 30 minutes patrick christopher 12.4 points a game johnny o'brien damon inglis were there bruno caboclo was there so this team it's yeah it's got awful so we're gonna see who wins the nba finals i know the thunder traded for deandre jordan and they go on to win the nba title all right i'm simulating to the nba draft here and if i don't get the first overall pick i'm gonna be really upset if i dropped on the four i'm gonna get very mad let's see what pick do we have I'm about to, I'm going to get so mad. Are you freaking kidding me? So there goes Ben Simmons on this team. And I have the seventh pick from the Nuggets. So I don't even think I can trade anyone yet yeah, because I have nobody under contract. So let's see. I want to see if I can get a player for maybe the fourth pick. And maybe like this rap. No, no, I don't want to trade that Raptors pick. And maybe this Clippers pick. What can I get for these three picks? Can I get a player? I can get the third overall pick. Chris Middleton and the eight. That's interesting. Isaiah Thomas and Avery Bradley. Okay, if I can get two players, because I think more players the better. Nikola Vucevic, Thad Young, Gallinari, and Will Barden. I like this one. Tyreek Evans and Drew Holiday. Eric Bledsoe and the pick. Okay, I'm going to do this trade. Tyreek Evans and Drew Holiday. So we do that trade. And I think that's going to be it for me now. And I'll show you guys when I'm at my pick. Okay, right, guys. So I'm on the clock here at seven. The best available player is Jalen Brown. There's still Brendan Ingram, Jamal Murray. But I think I just want to see what I can get on the trade finder for this pick. Just because if I can get a very good player, I think if I can get a player look in the 80s, I, that would be better than like Brendan Ingram would be pretty much for next year. So I can get Rudy Gay, Vucevic. That's intriguing. I actually, I think that one's very nice. Scala, Bissier, Tobias Harris. Alfred Camino, Harrison Barnes, Dragon Bender, Chris Middleton, Jay Crowder. How's much I like the Jay Crowder and the Chris Middleton trade and the uh, Rudy Gay and the Nicholas Batum. I'm going to do the Ola Vucevic trade and the 17th pick. Ooh, but I don't want to give up that first round pick. Oh, that this is going to be a deal breaker, actually. I'm not giving up that pick. All right, what if I did this? What if I gave you these two seconds? Uh, yeah. No, I'm not doing this. Uh, what if I gave you my 2019 first round pick and these two? If not, I'm not going to do this trade. Yeah, I'm not giving up that first round pick. I'm going to need it for next year. So, there's no uh, team offering me two players, which I really would have wanted. So, I think I'm going to do the Nicholas Batum trade and a second round pick. I don't think they would throw in another player like MKG. I doubt they would. Yeah. Alright, so let's do that trade. Uh, yeah, let's do that trade. So I'm not gonna have another pick here. So I'll see you guys at I guess team player options All right guys, I'm here at team player options. I'm gonna bring back this Lucas Nogiri. I got I'm, I'm definitely pronouncing him wrong uh, his name wrong Definitely gonna bring back Bruno Caboclo because those were our top four rated players LeBron Gasol and Nowitzki decline. So the good thing about this is actually will I even have I don't even know how much cash I'm gonna have so I have these qualifying offers I'm gonna bring back Patrick Christopher. He was pretty good for us and that's about it because he had like 12 points a game So he was a beast I got to keep at least one of these players. Steve Novak's. Everyone's testing for agency. All right. How much cap space do we have to work with? Negative 13 million. What? 
How do we have negative 13 million in cap space? Does this make sense? This doesn't make sense. I guess it's... You know, I guess it's all the dead money from releasing people. That's annoying, 2K. Oh, wait. What if I just turn off... Mm, trade override. No, trade approval. I don't know. Yeah, it doesn't look like I could turn my salary cap off or anything. So, uh, I don't think I'm going to be able to sign anybody here in free agency. So, I'm just going to let it automate. And we're just going to see what it's going to happen. Uh, who's going to end up being on this team. We're going to be terrible this year, too. I just know it. So, Drew Holiday, Tyreek Evans, Nicholas Batum are our best players. And then we have these four. So, yeah, that'll be for me now. And I think I'm not even going to make any trades. So, I'll see you guys at next year's uh, playoffs, I guess. Alright guys, end of the season, and I think we were once again the worst team in the NBA. Uh, no, actually the Mavericks were, so by two games we were the second to worst team in the NBA. Player stats, but Toom had a very nice year, same with Evans and Holiday and Johnny O'Brien didn't do that bad. So, we're not in the playoffs obviously, but I'm hopefully we can get a top 5 pick, draft a good player, and then hopefully like the dead money from last year doesn't carry over so I can maybe make a big uh, free agency signing, but the Bucks made it to the finals, okay. Uh, they have, did they have Kyle Lowry? I'm not sure. Mmm, I don't even know. It looks like they signed Dwight Howard, Jamal Murray they have. So, hopefully we're gonna get a, maybe the number one overall pick. Alright, I'm about to hit, uh, the end of the simulation, and let's see what pick we have. Come on, 2K, don't screw me over again. Okay, the number two pick, I could work with that. I just wanna see what offers I can get for the number two pick. Just what players I would be offered. So, I can get the third pick and Sean... I don't even know who that is. Uh, Rondo in a pick. Schroeder and Teague. Bosch. Kemba. Alec Burks. Brooke Lopez. Sixth overall pick. Nikola Vucevic. Fourth overall pick. And I think I'm going to pick here. And I'll see you guys when I'm at my pick. All right. The first overall pick. Let's see who the Hornets are going to take. I think they're going to take Josh Jackson. And no, they take Harry Giles. Okay, that's kind of who I wanted. But I think I'm going to take Josh Jackson here over Thon Maker. Because I usually get Thon Maker. Ooh, Dennis Smith, not. Nah, I think I'm going to take Josh Jackson, and hopefully he's like a 77 overall, maybe. So, yeah, that will be for me now, and I'll see you guys. Actually, no, it won't be it for me now, because I want to see if I can trade these two first-round picks for a player. Uh, I just want to see what the value is. Okay, so I think I can definitely get a player. Hmm. Patrick Patterson's the best I'm seeing. Darrell Arthur, Mike Scott. If I can just get, like, two cheap players, I would be happy. That's too much money to take, because I also don't want to take, like, on, like, a lot of money. Alright, I think I, I might just use these, uh, picks to trade someone in the start of the regular season, so I'll see you guys at, I guess, re-signing stage. Team player options, I'm going to bring back Kaboko and Nogiria. I, I'm definitely pronouncing it wrong, and I apologize. So, Griffin and Paul are both free agents. Hopefully, one of them hits free agency, and hopefully, I have the cap space this year to sign one of them. I'll offer these guys, actually, I'll offer these three qualifying offers. I don't mind that. My free agents, Drew Holiday. Uh, I'll offer you a deal. Oh, we're not even going to have that much money. Tyreek Evans, I'll offer a deal. Hopefully, they come back. Damon Inglis, I'll offer a deal. Johnny O'Brien. Because mm, uh, this is so tough. Okay. So, we have $20 million, And if I sign Holiday and Bryant, I'm going to have $5 million. Okay, McCollum. All right. So, it's not even that. It's a decent free agency class. So... Come on, Tyreek, come here. Tyreek, please sign with us, Evans. I swear to God. Tyreek freaking Evans doesn't sign with us. That is so annoying. Uh, can I, like... Who am I going to have money to sign? I don't even know. Oh, this is going to be so tough to make the playoffs next year. All right, I can get Miles Plumlee. Can I get Dar Derek Williams? I can. Can I get JaVale McGee? No, CJ Miles. I can get CJ Miles. Let's offer CJ Miles a deal. Let's offer Mitch McGarry a deal. Let's offer Derek Williams a deal. If I could just get one of these players, I wouldn't be mad. And I'm going to have to make some crazy trades at the start of the regular season. So let's see. I can get CJ Miles. I think I'm going to take CJ Miles. Oh, it's going to let me sign two of these players. Okay, I will take that. So, uh, will it let me sign a center? Like an old center? Let's see. Uh, what about Tiago Splitter? Nope. Great. Alright, so I'll see you guys at player progression. Alright, player progression, and this team looks so freaking bad. I have no idea how we're going to make the playoffs next year. So that is the team, and I've got to make some a lot of changes at the start of the regular season. Okay, start of the regular season, and I'm going to throw up 
two first round picks and Josh actually and we'll try uh, Drew Holiday first to see what I can get if I can get maybe like Eric Bledsoe I would be happy but uh, maybe if I can get Kemba or Michael Conley Mike Conley Rondo and Greg Monroe that is interesting okay that is nice Brooke Lopez and Rudy Gay all right so I'm getting some nice offers Derek Rose and Thad Young from the Nets so Rondo and Monroe would I want the oh, that's intriguing or Lopez and Rudy Gay Hmm. I like this Brooke Lopez one. Yeah, I'm going to do this trade, and then I think I'm going to trade Rudy. I'm giving up that first round pick, though. I kind of want to hold on to that. Actually, no, nah, I'm going to lose. Uh, no, uh, that's what I meant to give up. All right, so we're going to do that trade. And now, since I have Batum, I'm going to look to trade Rudy Gay and this first round pick. Hopefully for a point guard. Uh, preferably Eric Bledsoe, but I don't think I'm going to get offered Eric Bledsoe. If I got offered like Jeff Teague, I wouldn't get mad. Or Derek Rose. So I can get Joel Embiid, Miritich, Valanchunas, Jeff Teague. Okay, so there's the Jeff Teague. Ooh, Chris Bosh. Okay, I like that Chris Bosh deal. Vucevic. Okay, so I'm getting good offers. Can I get an Eric Bledsoe offer? I got Rubio. No Eric Bledsoe, but I think I'm going to do that Bosh trade. Okay, so let's see what the starting lineup is now. So it's... Who that? Nigel Williams, Josh Jackson, Batum, Bosch Lopez. Alright, so I just need to get a decent point guard. What team has a decent point guard that they'll trade? Hmm. Tony Roden. I would have to give up Nicholas Batum. No. What if I gave up... What if I gave up CJ Miles? You wouldn't do that. Are you kidding me? They would do this. Damon Inglis for Maurice Spates. I'm going to have to do that. Okay, so we get a point guard. Not mad. All right, so it's Tony Roden, Josh Jackson, Batum, Bosch, Lopez. This isn't bad. It's not bad at all, but it's not very good. So I'm going to see you guys at the end of the regular season or maybe at the trade deadline. And, yeah, so hopefully we're doing good then. All right, guys, end of the season, and we made the playoffs, and we did very well, too. We were able to get the third seed, and holy crap, the Hornets went 16-22. Wow, okay, that team is nice. But if we go to stats-wise, Josh Jackson was good, Batum was good, Bosch was good, Lopez was good, Roden was good, and Spates were good. So pretty much our starting five and our six man were really good. I'm going to have the coaching uh, just automate that. So Roden's only getting 39 minutes. We're running a nine-man rotation. I kind of want to give less minutes to these guys for here and just give like Roden that many. Let's give Batum more too. All right, so we're taking on the Magic. Let's see. Okay, we win game one. If we go to the box score, they got Hazonia, Parsons. All right, so this team is pretty much the same. They have Jeff Green. Is that Nope, they also have DeAndre Jordan. Okay, so we win game two. We win game three. Can we sweep them? Okay, we sweep them. That is crazy. And we're taking on the two-seeded Sixers who have J.J. Redick, Dennis Smith, Okafor, Bender, Noel, Shabazz Muhammad, Joel Embiid. Okay, yep, they're pretty nice. They're stacked. They win game one. They win game two. Yep, we're going to get swept. No, no, we didn't. Okay, I'll take it. We didn't get swept. But the Sixers going to beat us. And this challenge is tough. I don't know if I recommend this to anybody. This might be just as hard as the accepting every cheat challenge. And the Sixers going to win the NBA Finals and they beat the Warriors. So you guys already know who's on that team. And the Finals MVP was Dennis Smith. All right, so that's going to be for me. I hope you guys enjoyed. Tomorrow, I think I'm going to have a relocating the Lakers out. So be on out on the lookout for that. So yeah, that'll be for me. Hope you guys had a great day. Leave a like if you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next video.